June 1st means a new season, not only meteorological summer, but the hurricane season has officially begun. And of course, everyone wants to know what his hurricane season 2024 are going to bring. And the answer is more likely than not a very active season. 14 named storms as normal, uh, seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes. That's the average. Last year we were right at average for hurricanes and major hurricanes, but we had 20 named storms. Colorado State University, their outlook calls for 23 named storms, 11 hurricanes and five major hurricanes. And NOAA and the National National Hurricane Center, their preseason outlook calls for 17 to 25 named storms, 8 to 13 hurricanes, and 4 to 7 major hurricanes. This is one of the highest and most active outlooks that NOAA has ever given. And if we get past 21 names, which is certainly possible, we would be completely exhausting the name list for this year, starting with Alberta and ending with William. Now, if we do get through the entire of the 2024 hurricane season name list, then we would switch over to a supplemental name list. We have not yet used any of the names on this list, but back in 2020, we used the Greek alphabet and that has since been replaced with this name list. And by the way, if any storm name is retired on the supplemental name list, it will get replaced. And this is used every single hurricane season. No changing in uh, all the years. Now, whenever tropical storms and hurricanes form, they need water temperatures at or above 80 degrees. Of course, converging winds to help to force air upwards and a lot of moisture, which we have in place across the tropical Atlantic. And unfortunately, even just on June 1st, take a look at how much of the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic are already seeing sea surface temperatures at or above 80 degrees. Now, one spot that we always typically watch, especially from July into August and September, is what's called the main development region. And even though that main development region does not yet have sea surface temperatures at or above 80 degrees, it does feature warmer than normal sea surface temperatures already. And in fact, the vast majority of the tropical Atlantic is experiencing warmer than normal sea surface temperatures. Along the Gulf Coast, especially in Texas, it's the first three months of hurricane season, June, July, and August that we have to watch out for. And during the month of June, tropical storms and potentially hurricanes typically form close to home, either in the Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico, or off the Atlantic coast. And we have to, of course, watch anything that forms close to home, and especially so in the Caribbean Sea, the average prevailing track in June takes tropical systems usually into Texas. Not the greatest thing after we had one of the rainiest months of all time, May 2024. Reporting in the studio, Sean Bellafieri, KWTX News 10.